Good day, students. I am Ma'am Amor, and I was tasked to talk about or lecture about housekeeping department as one uh, major important department in the hotel establishment. Because of the pandemic, we came up to this idea that we need to give the students some recall or review about the every department or the importance as a hotelier since you have your OGT in your house only. Um, um, we are really trying our best um, to give you um, some um, information or ideas even though um, um, you cannot have your OGT outside the campus or I mean outside the outside your house since um, um, you know already that uh, we are we are um, uh, we are in the major of crisis you know so uh, since I was tasked to um, give or to speak about housekeeping management so housekeeping management is already uh, um, discussed to you um, in your previous year so I believe some or all of you have already the NC2 housekeeping department so let me just uh, give you a sort of um, review since dili man gyud ni siya kayo ingon nga um um lecture jud it, it, it takes um hours but it's just sort of uh, review or to recall nga kun hinumdum pa ba mo sa ato mga discussion during sa time nga you are here in school okay housekeeping management so lodging operation is one of the most important sectors of hospitality industry it provides all the services a guest would need, just like being at their own home. One department that provides the needs of the guest is the housekeeping. So it is the responsible in maintaining the cleanliness and sanitations of the hotel, but to make sure that the guests are comfortable as well. So you know already that the, the major... Um, the major uh, rule of the housekeeping is to make the guest comfortable through the cleaning of the hotel. The image and the reputations of the hotel establishment is reflected not only in the quality of its facilities but also in the quality of its housekeeping maintenance. So a hotel may have a superior facilities but if these are poorly maintained, they could wear in a shorter time than expected with poor housekeeping maintenance. According to Shella Perafi Gladmore, a manager of a Glen, Glen Eagles Hotel, that she or she considers housekeeping to be the heart of the hotels and when something goes wrong, that is recognized just like our heart so according to her no housekeeping that is the heart of the hotel since um the major or the the product of the hotel is the rooms the services the cleanliness so that's why uh na siya consider as the heart of the hotel according to shella Pereira. Housekeeping department is one of the major contribution in terms of hotel operation success, though some may consider this is a supplementary service only. In fact, housekeeping is a 24 by 7 by 365 operations running non-stop, with the guest rooms being the main product of the hotel. All the guests looks for spotlessly clean relaxing and pleasing guests every time they check in at any lodging establishment. So according to www.traditionary.com, housekeeping is doing a basic cleaning task in, in a house, hotel, or other locations, or the department of employees who manage and perform cleaning tasks. Although, ironically, Housekeeping duties involve not only the basic cleaning tasks, but also those that require expertise and trainings. Housekeeping, as per www.tutorialspoint.com, it means that 
performing all the duties towards cleaning, maintaining, orderliness, and running a house or a business property. Therefore, when speaking about hotels, housekeeping duties involve maintaining the hotel to the best possible state in terms of cleanliness and keeping it highly desirable ambience. So, claro kayo that housekeeping, if you were assigned the housekeeping, one of your major concerns is all about the cleanliness and the highly desirable ambience of the hotel. Okay, especially in their rooms because the rooms again that is the main product of the hotel the housekeeping department is a vital for the overall success of the hotel as it not only enhances each and every elements of the hotel face but it also the highest revenue generator with the advancement in the technology and modernizations the phase of housekeeping has changed and it's no more considered to be the back of the house department of the hotel. Housekeeping department ensures the cleanliness, safeguarding, and aesthetic and threat of the house or the hotel. However, with the passing time, housekeeping services are increasingly becoming scientific and mechanized and technology has brought a substantial change in efficiency and product quality in the housekeeping department as it leads to the reductions of the manpower and time so because of the technology so daghana kaayo when you talk about housekeeping daghana kaayo ang, ang mga mga magamit or mga automatic nga maka help na to when in terms of cleaning of um, the hotel so because of the technology hay nakaayo ta og mga gamit because of the technology Technology brought us a big impact in terms of um, changing or changes the, the, the strategy on how to clean the entire hotel. Earlier, the housekeeping department was considered responsible for the maintaining basic cleanliness and maintenance of the property and a very less emphasis was laid on the analysis report. The software, the training of the staff related to the latest happening in the field of housekeeping. However, in the last few years, a lot of focus is being laid on the creativity, the innovations, trainings, use the latest equipment and technologies and softwares in the housekeeping sector. Some of the latest trends pertaining the housekeeping departments are as follows. First is the go green. Go green. Some nang go green. Go going green is the latest trend, and housekeepers are using economy friendly amenities, commodities to conserve water and energy. With the focus of the progressively on the responsible tourism and the green practices. There is much more to being ecologically friendly than reusing sheets and towels. For example, the energy management system in the hotel helped to analyze data from the major energy consuming appliances like compact fluorescent lamps and selling motion sensors are used in the meeting rooms, conference rooms, and public areas to reduce energy waste. So, Kung nakabantay mo in every establishment, they are really, especially in the tourism industry, they are really promoting green, go green. No? They are the uh, symbolizes or that is the trend now nga um, it should be, uh, we need to be an eco-friendly no kay because of of the environment no the the, the climate change so mo nga they are really promoting uh, eco friendly especially in the establishment next the technology savvy housekeeping so what do you mean by this most of the hotels are investing heavily in information technology infrastructures and networking that deploys the latest technical advances in their operations so new technologies like wifi Diba? Sa una, wala pa Wi-Fi. The radio frequency identifications, the GPS or shall we say global positioning system, the voice over internet protocol, 
the handled communications devices and wireless local area networks are developing rapidly so grabi kapaspas ang technology no also the adaptions of the products like air purifiers remote curtains for, um, 8 to 10 inches matrices for ultimate sleep experience the high thread count cleaning the flash fellows the shower cubicle the bathtub the combinations the branded amenities the bed so salts aromatherapy products and aromatizer has accelerated so many types of software having comprehensive housekeeping applications are being used today in the hotel so with the help of technology the customers involvement in service delivery has been increase no so because of the grabby ang technology nakatabang sa um hotel industry okay because of that um the service delivery has been increased next is the outsourcing of services housekeeping as a labor intensive department the most of the hotel chain perceive perceive outsourcing as an effective business strategy Outsourcing proves to the to be the best solutions for many specialized tasks as it is highly cost effective and it is a good business strategy to meet the demands of the hotel standards. So it also helps in reducing manpower related issues like filing the gaps due to the attract attrition of the manpower and availability of the sustainable personnel and train manpower, however. Retaining employees in the hotel industry is a major challenge due to a long work schedule, less compensation, physical demand, demanding tasks, high pressure environment, and uncomfortable work culture. Generally, people say housekeeping job is a thankless job which results in a low morale of the employees. No, so housekeeping no dugay kay kapoy kay ni housekeeping as I told you the the department that kanang very hago is the housekeeping. Therefore, housekeeping sector needs to focus on the formulations and the implementations of, of dynamic dynamic retention strategy to reduce the employee turnover so ilan ang gisadihan no para ma reduce ang daghag mo resign because of the kahago in this scenario the training and motivation employees is a fundamental tool to stabi stabilize new staff okay so housekeeping skills to look include attentive and detailed oriented um, attentive and detailed oriented it is the housekeeper should have the ability to pay attention even to the smallest details so these skills can greatly affect the quality of service they provide having attention to details can ensure, can ensure that homeowners can look forward to seeing their house looking the way they expected it to look after the cleaning is done housekeeper must also remember to return all the items they have temporarily removed during cleaning and make sure that everything is in the right place so mo na kung gingon sa una no nga if you were the housekeeper if you were the room attendant so you need to be the attentive and the detailed oriented so all the cleanings um all the process nga gibuhat no tanan nga mga um, gamit akong utroho no tanan nga usay gamit sa paglakaw sa mga guests ining balik nila mao gihapon ang kalahian lang is limpyo na siya but all of their um uh, things nga imo na remove during sa cleaning time it should be put back mo unsa na siya gipurma sa paglakaw nila okay next the flexibility and adaptability so some may pasabot of flexibility and adaptability if you were a room attendant or a good housekeeper should be adaptable and flexible to the work needs of their clients and employers so they should make every effort to help out and to assess in every situation so they should be willing to adjust and perform their duties accordingly so these skills would allow them to respond efficiently to their working conditions even if things don't go as planned so 
again, if you were the hotel hoteliers, uh, you need to be flexible. So, dili man ta pwede nga uh, atong gusto matuman because we have uh, guests or natay mga mga employers, no? So, if kanamingon ko nga as an hoteliers, no, as an um, hotelier someday, one of the best um, attitudes or skills that you have is you are or you need to be flexible. So flexible ta. If the things um, go, uh, if the things nga uh, pamantay bantay niyo nga muragi naman yung mga ayo, so yung yung duman nga, you need to be flexible anytime. So that is the best skills that you can wear if you are working someday. So if the plans goes not feeling ni mo, dili na na ni mo ang plano, so okay, um, you need to revise the plan. So nga na siya, we need to be flexible. Okay? Next is the interpersonal communication skill. So, um, and saman is siya, the housekeeper or the room attendant must have the ability to listen and understand the direction being given for them to successfully complete the task on hand. They should know when to ask questions for cl clarifications and how to respond politely. These skills will help them communicate effectively. Okay, so this uh, skills also or attitude also is very important. The interpersonal communication skills. Since you are communicating with the guests or you are communicating with the um, your um, higher boss or your supervisor, the manager, you know? so uh, please listen carefully if they would give you and some instructions and then if you have some clarification so you can ask them pol politely no and politely and then um 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 kuan kanang with kuan gid siya no and then because uh, these uh, skills would help you to communicate effectively kung kuan ta dili ta pwede nga wala pagali na human og instruct si manager no moy mo na ta nga ma'am mo response na ka no so mostly ya na to as a pinoy or uh, uh, mo na gina itong batasan no nga when somebody's talking so wala pa siya na human mutubag na ka you have the you have the idea no we will cut on that if you will become an hotelier someday we will work in a big establishment or as housekeeping or even not housekeeping even in the other department we should consider to have the interpersonal skills what they mean by that you need to um listen carefully you know what is the um what is the um given task what is the direction what is the instructions given by the higher bosses or the higher um Companyo, the manager, the supervisor. So you need to um, um, listen carefully so that you can get or you can get all the details. No, so after that, so kung mahumanes yung instruct, so you can ask if you have some questions. Kaya naglibog mo while while she or he's talking about giving directions or instructions. So namin yung kalibugan. So wait until she mahuman and then you can ask questions with polite. No, respond politely. Okay, that is really uh, important if you are working in the industry. You know, so sometimes um, that is very small thing. One, that is very small thing, but sometimes we forgot that we are wearing. Um, wala na magdala sa proper nga attitude, proper nga skills na ginatudlo sa schools, no? Because sometimes we are, sur we are surrounded by uh, many people that sometimes kanang makuanta nila, ma 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 madata, no? Wata maka, wat, wata maned nga ito ang mga, ato mga kaban sa mga banaan at kulay, so madana to sometimes sa trabahuan, no? So, daily ginato kanintan nga kinanglan, um, polite gita kayo, especially nga maminaw ta, Huwag mga instruction kay, um, um, lisod kayo, nga gitagantag instruction at the end of the, um, work, wala din na mawang yung buhat sa yang gainstruct. So, dapat natay interpersonal communication skills. Another skills is organize. So, organize, the housekeeper must have a good organizational skills to be able to clean and arrange things in neat and orderly way. An organized and well arranged room can bring comfort and relaxation to its occupants. So, kinanglan ni po ni siya nga skills nga, kung an organized po ta, no, dili kay, 
anyway, before you will get employed, so, kay, eh, eh, ano ma mo na, eh, orientation mo mo na. So, um, kung unsa na siya in ni mo, ang mga furniture, textures, unsa pa na siya di ha, kanang, dili na siya, may, dili na siya pasabot nga, organize nga, ikaw na magbot, asa ni mo, ibotang ang aparador, ibalhin ni mo, kay muragwa na mao, ang ilang ko ano, dili siya pwede nga, mong hilabta, no, inakuan nga na, mumpun na sila, gitawag o ganang, kuan nila, kanang, na, 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 nagbutang with anak ba, so, ingan anak nila, no, so, di ka pwede, all you have to do is just to clean, di, pwede ni mo siya, ipamali, ipamalihin ang tanang mga butang, kay feeling ni mo, wa siya ma-organize, no, na po na siya, lain nga tao, nga nakatas, ano nga, nga na good ihang proper nga look sa hotel or sa room, di na ka pwede anak mo, um, hilabot, okay, next is the skillful and proficient, so, the housekeeper must be professional and skillful at their job, they should be well trained to handle all kinds of cleaning equipment such as the vacuums, the maps, and the other cleaning tools. They should know which cleaning products are best to use, for example, on the carpet floors, and the tiled floors, or in the wooden floors. They should know the process and what needs to be done and how to do it. No? So, uh, skillful. So, I know you have all that um, um, skills. I know that all of you are skillful. Kung magisgot naman tayo dyan, ang saan paggamit, I know you have all the idea. You know how to use that one, di ba? You have already, you, you, you already got your MC2 in housekeeping. So, I believe, mga kung makakita mo ma, para na siya, asa na siya, para sa floor, gina siya, dito na siya pang ceiling, no? So, kay bao ko, and I believe, and kuan good ko, 100% good nga, I know you have these skills, no? Skillful good mo. I will claim that one that, um, by so can be highs are, uh, graduates are skillful, no? So, ato yun na siyang i-claim. Next is the time management skill. So, housekeeper must be prompt and punctual. Showing up on the schedule appointment means respecting time. Moreover, good time management skills can help them to be more productive and allow them to do the cleaning work smoothly. So, time management skills. So, some of you have that already, but some are kuan pa to improve by ng time management skills. So, if you were working, kung sa school, ang class is 7.30, maabot o 7.01, I mean, 7.31, so we need to change that one. We need to be time conscious, no? If we were working in the industry, we need to be time conscious. Dita pwede nga, ah, layo pa. Layo pa nga alas 8, no? You need to consider ang pagbiyahe ninyo, di ba? You consider nga, nag-abot ninyo, dagan pa mong kuri-kuri yun sa inyong lawas, especially if you were a girl. So, kinahanglan nga time management yung ta. Di ta pwede mag-alate sa trabaho. Di ta pwede nga ah, sa'yo pa rin. No? So, dapat nakaset na tong time. Dapat nakaplan na tanan. Dapat sa'yo ta. Dapat, if you were working, good, lahi na good ang lahi na good ang iyahang ka ng lahi na good ang iyahang sa inyo na na. Lahi na good ang iyahang kuan compare sa student pa ta nga. Pwede ra. Nakasalalay din hi ang inyong kaugmaon if you were working. No? kung malayta ka tulo, there are some company nga di na naman patrabahoon. So, di ba? So, so, sayang. No? It's not uh, very easy to find job. So, kinanglan nga, uh, we consider as time management skills. No? Nami kay ni siya. Okay. So, next is the qualities of a good housekeeping staff. So, I do believe you are already, um, um, discuss about the qualities of a good housekeeping staff. Okay? Um, uh, first is the personal hygiene and appearance. So, if you were a good house, if you were a housekeeper, so, of course, personal hygiene and appearance. So, ato na siyang discuss O na no, nga, personal hygiene is important. You ni siya with high degree personal hygiene. Nails are trimmed. No loud color polish. Dito pwede nga mang um, taas pong kuku. Niya na asyay um, cutics. Di na siya pwede. For male, the hair should not reach the color with, for, with color. So, di siya pwede nga kay bota nga kung taas na itong buhok magpagupit na yun takay. If you were working in the industry, man good, you need to be neat. No? Because you are facing different kinds of guests. For the female, the hair must be tired like a boom. So, imuha gina siyang 
kain ng pugngan. Ano ang giingon ninyo ng pugngan? Especially if you were assigned the housekeeping. Kaya ang hago ba yun na siya kaayo ng area-aro. Dili kayo siya mutabon sa imunaong. And then, dili ka pa rin kung pag-ayo. Okay? Uniform must be clean and well pressed. So, nakakuan yung uniform. Nakaayon siya. Di siya na gumugumok. And it should be worn completely and properly. Looks clean and smell clean. So, one of the cons of hygiene is humuta. Diba? Humuta. Di kayo lang miratag purma niya. Yung smell na ito. Baho na ito. So, humuta. Do not wear um, ka ng mga kuan nga mga perfume, mga isog. Kano? Kuan na siya. Ka ng mga kuan na kayo siya nga pahumot. Before reporting for work, stop must take a bath, apply deodorant, and brush out teeth. Okay? It's very simple or very basic. Nga mojo teeth ang trabaho. Sumaligi yun ta. May deodorant. And then, mag-brush ng teeth. Kung sa una, makalimot tao sa iyong panot brush, uh, okay ra na. Pero, karon o magtrabaho ta dili niya siya pwede kay kanang mag face to face mo sa client or sa guest sa hay na siya istorya niya what if mo response kaniya niya na pay dako kayong itom sa imong ngipon so wala na pud kayo so before ka musod sa hotel so tanawon sa jud nimo imong personal looks and appearance you need to smile in the mirror libot-libot tanawa imong mga likod no kung ay kinaba imong appearance is really important if you were a housekeeping staff. Next is the interpersonal skills. So, sa mga interpersonal skills, uh, show professionalism all the time. So, kaya na, di ka pwede makibugno sa hotel. Di ka pwede makigaway dito. Bisag na pungot ha? Bisag kontra kayo nato ng tao. Please, we need to show professionalism. Huwag ta nga mga basta. And a good team player. Okay, interpersonal skills, possess right attitudes, listen carefully and attentively. No, so, muna itong mga kuan, itong hinumduman. Next, the communication skills. Communication skills, so, yun sa muna siya. Speak clearly and professionally in a well-mannered tune. Umusturya ta, klaro, professionalism, apply and well-mannered. Dita pwede nga magpataas at itong kingog. Ita pwede maning ka. Kay lahi biyat ang mga attitude. So, sa hotel, dapat pinahilo na. Pinahinay ang inisturyahan. Okay? Malumanay. Maintain polite eye contact while interacting with the hotel guest. So, you cannot talk with the guest. Nga, magsigi kag pangot sa imong likod. Pangot sa imong kamot, sa imong kiting. If you were talking to the guest, so, you, you have, you need to have the eye-to-eye contact. No? So, para ang mabastos mga ng guest, kung magsigi siya gusto niya, niya mutubag ka niya, dagang pagkagipang kuri-kuri sa mong lawas. You need to maintain polite eye-to-eye contact while interacting with the guest. Refrain from any unnecessary side comment. So, well the guest is talking, so, udili ka pwede mo comment. So, yung mga man siya, if they, if she or he has suggestions, so that's the time that you need you can give your own comments. So, di di siya pwede nga may pangang mamuhin na siya na maong no, kung wala niya kanyang lana yung suggestion or comments, wala kay lang yung istorya sa yes. Okay, next is the personal skills and traits. Personal skills and traits is when I be able to fulfill the whims of the guests that are hotel operations related. Be able to deal with a different kind of guests is really and respectively and must be pleasing and physically fit. They must conduct themselves confidentially, confidently and courteously and have a high integrity. No? Ito mga personal nga mga traits. So, next is the honest and trustworthy. So, how ko na siya include that is based on my research that I include three. The honest and trustworthy, the responsible and reliable, the loyal and caring. That is based on ako siyang adan nga para gyud mga kuan siyang quality ma very kuan gyud ang quality as a housekeeping staff. Honest and trustworthy. One of the first qualities an employer would look for in housekeepers their honesty and trustworthy. You know, so mga ginasya important especially in the hotel kay musud yata ang mga rooms so kinahanglan gin nga honest ta and then kasaligan po ta. Honesty and trust are central to integrity, which represent the uncompromising adherence to a strong moral and ethical principles and values. So, this means that they should work 
truthfully and honestly all the times even when no one is looking so um kanang ano ako man siyang gi-include why because for me this is a very important yo din ato kalimtan no kay sometimes um as a students makabantay ko nga kung wala si ma'am dili jud ta mang lihok kung wala si sir dili jud ta man ilhig no so na 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 one of the best of house qualities of the housekeeping have is they can work truthfully and honestly all the times even when no one is looking no kay sa way na tanaw nato makatrabaho gyud punta that is a very big factor as a housekeeper or housekeeping staff housekeepers can sometimes make mistakes or encounter certain mishaps while cleaning they may crack a plate while washing break a glass or windows when wiping tear one part of the curtains or even damage and leave a stain on the clothing materials and an honest housekeeper should admit their error clearly explain the situations and make sure that it never happen again that's why housekeeper must also always bear in mind to take extra caution when managing other people's things to avoid any accident from happening no so mao na siya nga na makasata o sa ito rang hide no you need to be tell to to your supervisor honestly nga nga ni man good ma'am nang nahitabo no dita pwede nga mamutbuta hiring a housekeeper who have trust is another important factor to consider so you do not you do not want to let someone who is not trustworthy in your home they would basically be cleaning and working through your home surrounded by your belongings and the other things you assured okay next is the responsible and reliable a cleaning job entails hard work if you are hiring a professional housekeeper to tidy your house you wouldn't be sprung sparkly clean house from top to bottom Housekeepers should be responsible and hardworking in putting their names, the effort, and energy necessary to make the house through spotless. They should work obediently with great zeals and fashions in what they do. A good housekeeper should always be reliable and dedicated enough to create an excellent job. You would want to trust a housekeeper who is reliable and maintaining a high level of professional behavior. Okay, so responsible, no? Okay, but oh, I know all of you are responsible. Okay, next is the loyal and caring. So why I included this one? Because for me, caring is the one of the important qualities of a housekeeper, de ba? O caring ta, caring at umuyab ganahan gig kayo ta, no? So kung ako mo hire ko o mga staff na ho tinahangla ng home staff is is caring and loyal so sagasa nice gini siya kaya nga qualities a housekeeper who is caring would work and clean around your house or in the hotel as if it was their own a caring housekeeper would be extra careful and meticulous when handling your valuable belongings you would want to hire a housekeeper who will treat your home with the same love and care as you would You would want someone who will take proper safekeeping of your things and be devoted to working with care as they work thor- through your house. Housekeeper must also be loyal and respectful to the homeowners or the guests. They are going to touch everything from the bed sheets to the moss, antique treasures in the house. They should be mindful and considerate as well as to keep the privacy of the guest okay so moto siya ang um, qualities of a good housekeeping staff so i hope nga ma um, naat mo adto check ito ninyo nga na ako ano nga qualities na ako ano nga skills so you need to evaluate yourself also nga asa na tang dapita okay so um we go uh, We go directly to the advantage of the housekeeping department. Okay, advantage of the clean of the housekeeping department is the clean and hygienic atmosphere, comfortable and convenient stay, the privacy, safety and security, provision of amenities, making guests feel good. 
Okay, and so the main objectives of hotel. Okay, the main objective of the housekeeping. First, imagine itong objective. To provide the guests the highest quality of service by ensuring their care and comfort through maintaining of housekeeping or hotel cleanliness and orderliness all the time. No? Claro kayo. Mag-provide din nila very highest quality services. Okay? Next is to perform cleaning duties and ensure the highest standards of cleanliness and general upkeep in all areas. Three, use a good quality safe cleaning equipment and chemicals. And fourth is to provide all the supplies needed by both the guests and the different sections in the housekeeping department such as a guest supplies and amenities and employees uniforms. Next is fifth, manage a laundry and linen. Maintain the original aesthetic beauty of the furniture, fitting and textures of the entire hotel. Claro kayo ha, maintaining. No, basigin nyo ang ipang malhe, no, maintain the original beauty, no, kinanglan o kung saan na siya kakuan, o dyan mo nyo, maugin na siya ma-maintain to deal with lost and found items, and so establish good working relationship and good coordinations with other departments of the hotel such as the renovations and the refurnishing, and lastly is to control pests yung mauna na itong objective sa housekeeping department. So, mo siya. We have nine objectives. So, diligin na natin siya kalimutan. Okay? Purpose of cleaning. Anong mahindo man ta? Okay. One of the basic responsibilities of housekeeping department is providing clean and hygienic atmosphere to the guests and employees of the hotel. Cleaning according to, again, the dictionary it is activity of the removing the dirt from things and places, especially in house. So, in the setup, the house that we are referring to is the hotel where you will probably be working in the future. Pohon, ito na mga narabaho. Okay? Cleaning is conducted to remove the harmful bacteria that are represented in the dust deposited on the hotel property because of the pollution and other factors. So, this is the very important for the health not only of the working staff but also the guests to prevent pest infestation. So, its purpose is to eliminate if not reduce the threat of the any infections and others comfortable stay of the guests in the house. Okay? We have also the rules for the housekeepers. The housekeeper, just like the employees of the hotel, represent the hotel itself and create an image of the hotel by conducting themselves well while on the job. Those are the several rules the housekeepers need to follow. So, they must have, okay? First is, enter the floor properly groom wearing a clean, complete uniform. So, mga naganihan, no? Ang katong qualities na to, dapat, we are... Um, hindi ta hygienic and complete uniform. Next, only use the service labs. Refrain from speaking with other staff and unless necessary. Work properly and pro professionally in the hotel premises. Knock the guest room doors using knuckles. Case, coins, or other articles must not be used. Not eat nor drink while cleaning. Break hours must be observed religiously. Respect the privacy of the guest. Never there is a chance to speak to the guest in his room, the housekeeper must stand outside the guest room. So always keep the guest room doors open while cleaning. So dita manira, ha? Kay kasagaran, manira ta, mag-uon ba siya aircon? No. Always keep the door open para manggawas ang iyang baho. Okay? And then masudlan po siya o bago ma mainitan siya. Always be courteous. Guests must be greeted with a smile according to the time of the day. Never answer it. Guests, room, phone when it rings during cleaning. So, data pwede mo to bag o um, telephone while doing cleaning. Okay? Kay, kung na'y manawag unya, walay mo to bag. Meaning, kakon sila nga, ah, okay, wala na niya ang guest. So, data pwede mo to bag. Nga, naata sa room. I mean, come up, housekeeper, you know, you are not allowed to Answer the question. Uh, answer the telephone. 
Okay, next is never use guest bathroom nor the guest room for an authorized person. Dito po hindi magamit silang CR. Familiarize themselves with the face of guests. This is especially important for the security purpose. So, kinanglan ka ila ka or familiar ka sa guest dirang kwartuha or guest hotel. Not accept gifts or tokens from the guests and politely deny them. No, o tagaan ta, di ta mo dawat. So, polite ang mom, bawal jud na mom. If being insisted upon, housekeepers must mention it to the floor supervisor who can permit to take the gifts out of the hotel. So, kung mamugos jud si guest, so pwede ta man ang hidni supervisor. Okay? So, um, conclusion. So, we will go directly to the conclusion. So, we will not, um, kuan di na kayo na to siya tas on. Kaya I know all of you already, um, kuan, ang ako lang is a sort of reminders and review, no? Okay. Masay makalimta na to. Okay. This is a very easy job, mga good housekeep, housekeeping department. Muna easy. Sayon siya kayo, pero hago siya kayo. Okay. Conclusion. Housekeeping is not the only about ensuring cleanliness, but also consistently maintaining the upkeep of the hotel, by adapting innovative trends and practices in the housekeeping. Therefore, to stay ahead of the curve, unique and advanced technologies must be implemented and incorporated in the hotel. Okay? So, it is clearly stated in the um, previous discussion that technologies has a very big impact when in terms of hotel, especially in the housekeeping. No? Okay, so therefore, um, Mauna siya nga, we need to ensure the cleanliness of the hotel. Someday, somehow, watakay baw, pila ka buwan, pila ka tuig, sukat sa inyong pag-graduate po, hon, kayo mag-graduate naman dyan mo, no, diligyo na to kalimtan, ang ako lang dyan ipabaw ninyo, diligyo na to kalimtan, ang mga good quality sa usak housekeeping staff. Not only as a good housekeeping staff, but also, a good um, employee someday. Atong kan at di at natong hinumduman nga no, ang atong batasan ang magda nato sa kalampusan. No, kung ilita nga na region siya. It's not all about kuan. It's not all about um your grades, but it's matter. It's all about your attitude, the skills that you have. I know all all of that is na namo ana. So, I hope and I pray someday that um Two years from now, five years from now, someday magita tanga. You will become a successful. You will become manager, housekeeping supervisor, no? Because that's the only um the only success nga mo makita sa mga students if um after sa ilang pag um schooling, no? Di wala mi nagkuwang og mga og mga um pahimang no nga unsaon nga mahimuta nga mas successful ta sa atong in the future so mo gina siya aim high no aim high dream high and work hard with of course good attitude so okay mo ra gina siya so wala na ko wala na ko kaayo nag um discuss about sa unsay mga procedures no because um kaibawan ako nga kaibawan na mo ana pero kaibaw ko nga kaibaw mo ana ang ako lang jud kalingaw balik-balik kun is ang mga very small thing small thing but it is important because sometimes small thing can be forgotten makalimutan usahay nga gamay ra na siya nga butang pero importante na siya kayo mo na nga dili gyud nato kalimtan ang mga gagmayng butang kay sometimes mo ni makatabang nato puhon Okay, so I hope you have or you get some um ideas. Nakakuha mo gamay, bisag gamay ra good food, no? Nakakuha mo ganang kuan ba? It's a sort of anyway, no need naman siya. Muli man mo grabe, no need naman to discuss ni ma mo. Yes, no need na to siya, but sometimes usahay makalimtan nato na siya nga mga gagmay nga mga butang. No, wala na ko kaayo mag-discuss adtong mga ang saon pag bed cleaning kay kay baw ko ining trabaho ninyo tudloan lang ako magbalik adto pero ang maayong pamatasan dili na gyud to nato siya dili na gyud to siya ninyo gitudlo didto no so naato ana nang initiative mo ato na gina siyang hinumduman mga anak i hope gyud nga puhon puhon magkita ta so successful na ta tanan okay we will claim that one and we will pray that one
Ya, itu gini siang yang aku. Okay, so mula tu sya. Thank you for listening. Salamat kau sa time. Salamat kau keep safe mudira. Enjoy mo while you have your OJT in your house. I hope your parents is nalipay sila kaya na mudah nak OJT, na nai magloto, na nai maghinlo, na nai maglaba, no? So wala man ko sometimes na kay ubang nakakit ang mga post. So malipay ko nga mamuot nga mga mixed emotions. No, pero makamingaw. Gimingaw ka ayo mininyo. Kina mingawan, wa na ibujagon, wa na si Bertumin bujagon ka ayo. Okay, so kinahanglan nga um Uh, mo-follow gya punta no sa mga safety protocols garon kay kay bauta ang kalibutan so magampo alimenta kanina nga i hope gya hantat tanan okay so ora to sya no kay saktura kay daghan pa mi kayo basi pa kay mi dire basi mi basi no bisi mi kayo kay natay aakop so salamat kayo sa inyong time and then magampo lang ta nga mo back to normal aron mo paso mo puhon no so i hope we can meet soon and see you soon all of you guys okay bye bye good luck god bless